Good morning. This is Open Snow Meteorologist Alan Smith with your mountain weather forecast for Tuesday, August 26, 2025. Despite a quiet monsoon season overall, by far the most significant monsoon surge of the season began this past weekend with an uptick in shower and thunderstorm activity across the southern Rockies, southwest, and Sierra Nevada range in California, with some areas receiving over an inch of rain during the past three days, including some isolated spots with two to three plus inches. The monsoon surge will continue across the western U.S. during the next five days, from August 26th to 30th, with the deepest moisture lifting northward and eastward over time across the Rockies. If we put our precipitable water anomaly map in motion, which is a measure of water vapor in the atmosphere, many areas will see moisture levels of 150 to 250 percent of normal over the next three days, which means there is a lot of moisture in the atmosphere to fuel showers and thunderstorms with heavy rainfall. Check out the projected rainfall totals from Tuesday, August 26 through Saturday, August 30th. While many areas of the West will see some beneficial rainfall, the heaviest totals are projected across Idaho, Wyoming, northern Utah, and the northern and eastern ranges of Colorado. Deep monsoonal moisture will be in place across the West on Tuesday, with widespread showers and thunderstorms expected. This will not be a typical afternoon thunderstorm setup, as rain will be possible at any time of day or night. Also, showers will be more common than thunderstorms, with heavy cloud cover and cooler temperatures limiting surface heating in many areas. The thunderstorms will still be possible, especially in the afternoon. The southwest, the central Rockies, and the Sierra Nevada range will all be favored for numerous showers and thunderstorms, with significant rain amounts possible, including locally heavy rainfall rates. Areas that will have the highest risk of flash flooding on Tuesday include southern and western Colorado and northern New Mexico, mainly in the San Juans and Sangres. Southeast Arizona, southern Utah Canyon Country, northern Utah, and southern Idaho. Also, isolated thunderstorms are possible in the Cascade Range from central Oregon to Washington. Moisture levels will be comparatively lower in this region, and a heat wave will also be ongoing in the Pacific Northwest, which will pose a risk for lightning-triggered wildfires. Another active day is expected on Wednesday, with the deepest moisture plume shifting north as a shortwave trough moves across Idaho and northwest Wyoming. Numerous showers and thunderstorms can be expected throughout the west, from the Sierra to the central and northern Rockies. Further south, shower and thunderstorm coverage looks comparatively lower, but there will be still be plenty of moisture in place for showers and thunderstorms capable of heavy rain across Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico. The northern Rockies, including southern and central Idaho and western Wyoming, will be favored for the heaviest rain amounts on Wednesday, and will also see the highest potential for localized flash flooding though most areas will see a widespread steady rain event with cooler temperatures in place. To the north, the Cascades in Oregon and Washington will see isolated to scattered afternoon thunderstorms, with a risk of lightning-triggered wildfires, though locally heavy rain is also possible with stronger storms. The eastern slopes of the Cascades in Oregon are favored for higher thunderstorm coverage and a greater potential for heavy downpours. On Thursday, the deepest moisture will continue to lift northward and eastward, with the northern Rockies favored for the most, most widespread showers and thunderstorms. The northern Rockies in the front range of Colorado will see the highest risk of heavy rainfall and flash flood potential. A backdoor cold front sliding into eastern Wyoming and eastern Colorado will be the culprit of the uptick in moisture and flash flood risk from the Bighorns in Wyoming to the front range in Colorado. The southwest and the Sierra Nevada range will see fewer and more scattered thunderstorms compared to prior days, mainly confined to the afternoon hours. However, there will be enough lingering moisture to result in heavy rain potential with stronger thunderstorms. In vulnerable areas such as slot canyons and burn scars will have flash flooding risk. Isolated to scattered thunderstorms can also be expected across the Pacific Northwest once again. This will be a mixed wet and dry thunderstorm setup, with some storms producing locally heavy downpours, while the risk of lightning strikes and fire ignitions will exist away from rain cores. On Friday, moisture will favor southern Montana and northern Wyoming, where numerous showers and thunderstorms can be expected, both in the morning and in the afternoon and evening. Localized flash flooding will also remain possible across this region. 
The southwest and the central Rockies will see more sunshine with an afternoon thunderstorm setup expected. Stronger storms will be capable of producing heavy rain, and flash flooding will also be possible in slot canyons and burn scars. Elsewhere, more isolated thunderstorm activity can be expected over the Sierra Nevada range and the Southern California mountains, as well as the interior northwest, mainly in eastern Washington and northern Idaho, and in British Columbia. On Saturday, the deepest moisture and highest rain and thunderstorm chances will be along and east of the Continental Divide, from southern Montana to New Mexico, and also west of the divide across southwest New Mexico and eastern Arizona. These areas will also see the greatest potential for heavy rain. West of the divide in the Rockies, thunderstorm coverage looks more isolated to scattered in nature. Most storms will produce light to moderate rain west of the divide, but stronger storms could produce locally heavy downpours. Rain showers could also develop over western Washington as a trough approaches, but confidence is low as some models are keeping this area dry on Saturday, while others have rain moving in during the day. From August 31st to September 4th, the monsoon will revert back to a more seasonal pattern, with medium range models hinting at a focus over New Mexico for heavy rain potential. Seasonal monsoonal moisture levels should continue to result in routine afternoon thunderstorm chances elsewhere across the southwest and the Rockies, and maybe in the Sierra as well, though confidence is lower. The Pacific Northwest, mainly over western Washington, could also see some showers on Sunday, but confidence is low as not all models are projecting this. Confidence in the forecast further decreases for September 5th through 9th, but it looks like a fairly active monsoon by September standards should continue. Arizona, New Mexico, southern Utah, and southern Colorado look the most favored in terms of rainfall, while the central Rockies will likely hang on to thunderstorm chances as well. There are some hints of Pacific disturbances eventually reaching the northwest, but confidence is low as models have been projecting this in the seven plus day time frame recently, only to back off as we get closer. Also, we'll need to keep an eye on areas east of the divide in the Rockies, as we are sending, seeing hints of cold fronts sliding in from the north, which could lead to moisture increases and thunderstorm coverage in areas for, such as the Beartooth, Bighorns, and Colorado Front Range. For more detailed information for your local area or outdoor destination, be sure to download the Open Snow app, where you can view hourly forecasts up to 10 days for any location and elevation in the world along with numerous high-resolution weather maps, including maps for lightning risk, hail size, current and forecast radar, wildfire smoke, and air quality. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, and also subscribe to our channel for more weather videos, including mountain weather forecasts, severe weather forecasts, powder forecasts, and more.